Financial Analysis, Chapter 3, Lecture 1, Definitions and Purpose, F301 for Financial. First thing we need to understand before diving into financial analysis is kind of a definition of it, and that is it is a process of evaluating businesses, projects, budgets, and other finance-related entities to determine their suitability for investment. Really what you're looking at as different things is just as such as the stability of the organization, the solvency, liquidity, really looking if it's worth your time to invest in or look at. There are two types of financial analysis that we look at, and that is fundamental analysis and technical Fundamental analysis is the first thing we'll define. It's a method of evaluating a security or business that entails attempting to measure its intrinsic value. It's a key word to understand fun fundamental analysis by examining related economic, financial, and other qualitative and quantitative factors. Uh, fundamental analysis can study anything from the security's value to macroeconomic factors to company-specific factors like the financial condition of the company and management. Um, many things. You can look at a cash flow analysis to determine the, the value of the company. Uh, one person in particular that's famous for using fundamental analysis is Warren Buffett, and that's how he deeply finds discounted companies in terms of their value and buys them. And as you see the stock price go up, it, the value isn't determined necessarily off the stock price of the company. So but the big thing is intrinsic value. So question would be, based off intrinsic value is, what does that mean? An intrinsic value is the actual value of a company or an asset based on underlying perception of its true value, including all aspects of the business in terms of both tangible and intangible factors. Uh, just to give you a start off of intrinsic value, it's not necessarily based off what the current market value is. A lot of people will look at what is the stock price of the company, what is it trading at, what is its market capitalization, meaning how much stock is out there and how much is it worth in determining the value of the company based off of that. The intrinsic value could be many different things. It could be the asset size. It could be a net present value cash flow analysis to understand the company. Use different formulas such as capital structure theory to find the value of the company. Many things. Intrinsic value is really the true value of the company. Ratio analysis is what we'll really dive into with fundamental analysis, and it's a tool used by individuals to conduct a real quantitative analysis of information in a company's financial statements. Uh, ratios are calculated from current year numbers and compared to previous years, the industry, or other economic factors to really look at the performance of the company. Uh, it is, as I said, predominantly what fundamental analysis is focused on. So the question is, why do we use financial analysis? Well, there's many reasons why we use financial analysis. We want to look at, is the business or firm doing well? And comparing the financial numbers that we get with financial analysis to other business or firms. Another thing that we look at is, how is it performing compared to an industry average? Another reason why we do financial analysis is we want to look, is the management team maybe doing what it needs to do in order to be successful and these are three reasons why we use financial analysis. There are really four categories of ratios that we'll look in the lecture two and that is profitability ratios, asset utilization, liquidity, and debt utilization. So we'll dive into that. For and that is the end of chapter three lecture one. Please see on course for chapter three lecture two.